All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, today, we're going to take the new Transforming Goku into Super Battle Road. Now, I am definitely excited to see how he performs. I think he will perform quite well in Super Battle Road uh, because of the fact that he, once he transforms, he should be a pretty strong defensive unit. And I don't necessarily think it's going to be too difficult uh, for the transformation to actually take place here in Super Battle Road, right? Because in order for it to happen, uh, we just need three turns to pass and be below 70% HP. That's not going to be very difficult over here. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, I would love, I would absolutely love, let me see, uh, we will seal Togoma for sure. So that way he can't mess with Super Saiyan 4 Goku at the end. Uh, it would be great to have Goku uh, be in that front slot and get hit a whole bunch, but I, I don't really want to risk uh, him. <laughs> uh, God Goku should completely reduce all damage because, you know, Frieza is here as a mem uh, movie boss enemy. This is one reason I brought God Goku, uh, creating rainbow orbs, ceiling, and in this first fight, he will be immune to damage, basically, uh, because Frieza is a movie boss's uh, opponent, right? So, that, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Doesn't matter. God Goku will absorb it all. Uh, now, Goku, of course, SCR Goku, 1.3 million, that said, not bad, not bad opening turn. Uh, he can get hit, what, a total of four times to build up his attack and defense. I would have preferred to get him the extra attack and defense right now, but it probably would not have been wise uh, to not just block all that with uh, God Goku. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, we did indeed take him down. Okay, so we have, like, just notice the insanity level of health that we have here. Uh, I'll probably do this, I think. Um... I'm going to I'm going to risk this, I think. Let's see. That is definitely a super attack. Uh I will Yeah, let's all go for Sorbet. Because I I well, hmm. No, no, no. I'm going to have Kid Goku attack Sorbet or uh Togoma and then Super Saiyan 4 Goku attack Sorbet here. Uh listen. People told me that Future Gohan is not the worst Dokkan Fest exclusive, so let's go ahead and test that out. Oh, 56k. Nice. <laughs> the tank that can't tank you gotta love it well <laughs> if uh if we don't get super attacked we will be okay uh pretty much all of the enemy super attack last turn oh we got a dodge that's very very helpful actually so as long as freeze doesn't super we're fine okay -hoo 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 -hoo. and we will get the transformation for goku which is definitely what we really want to get here very good okay we are good to go uh, next turn will be turn three, uh, and we don't have a Super Saiyan 4 Goku on rotation anyway, but the turn afterwards, we'll probably be able to finish Freeze off, I'm sure, with a uh, active skill, uh, 10 times Kamehameha. This is, like, dude, these animations, like, I, I just I just want to use this Goku in every single fight possible just because of how amazing the animations are. Ooh, lovely. Okay, so we'll go ahead and activate uh, LRB Pan's active skill. Bam, giving us a little bit of extra firepower. Gotta love that. Um, okay, so here's what we could do. We'll attack Frieza and seal him. Uh, then we'll have Goku finish off to Goma. Um, and then if I have B Pan, let's see, I think B Pan will probably take about 100k. I don't think I have to use an item. And she might stun Frieza as well. She might take up to 100k damage from Frieza, but I, I think it's worth the risk right here. I, I do think it is. Uh, plus, uh, God Goku will seal Frieza, so Frieza will not be super attacking. So I think that was kind of safe. Remember, SCR Goku has not been hit yet, so he could go way higher than that 1.93 million. Uh, but, <clears throat> you know, just the way it's played out, you know, it's worked out with him being on rotation with Tech God Goku. You know, it's kind of just worked out that way. Uh, if we get either a crit or a stun, we're guaranteed going to survive here. No crit or stun, but that is still a good amount of healing. Oh, only 35k. I think she activated her passive. We got the damage reduction. Very good. Oh, it's over. It sure is. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and blast Frieza with the active skills. This is like the full active skill team right here pretty much we have not actually but we have a lot of active skill units here you know b pan giving us oh look at that <laughs> b pan giving us the massive um okay so the next fight is against like hit cabe and all of them 
Uh, future Gohan could be very good with that hit on the Prowl. Uh, I, I think we'll we'll leave Kid Goku and uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku on rotation. I'll let Future Gohan float off. Yeah, yeah, I, I think we'll do that. Uh, okay, so we're going to go into the next fight. See, we have so many active skill units, right? You know, Kid Goku uh, needs to be below a certain health threshold to get his active skill. Uh, so Super Saiyan 4 Goku just needs to get to turn 4. Uh, we could potentially get the giant transformation, well, Ray's transformation, you know, same thing, uh, with Super Saiyan Goku, but the only issue with that is to be five turns into a fight is a lot. Like, this was turn four, right? I don't, I don't think you're gonna get up to turn five very often to use Super Saiyan Goku's active skill. It's not, it's just not likely to happen. Um, I have to keep in mind that Tech God Goku here no longer, uh, will have that ridiculous damage reduction here. Okay, so we'll... Let me... Huh. If I have both Super Saiyan 4 Goku and uh, SCR Goku attack Batamo, that should, that'll that definitely finish him off. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um. Okay, so then we have Kabe as well as Automageta at the end there. So I think I will seal Kabe. Um... Hmm... I'll use a Princess Snake right here. Uh, I'll use a Princess Snake, and then I'll also go ahead and seal our boy Kabe. That way we don't have to worry. Uh, what's our next rotation? B-Pan, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and Kid Goku. So I'll grab that right there. Okay, this is going really good so far. Uh, Goku, if he does not transform uh, by the next time we get him on rotation, uh, he at least will have his full passive built up right here. Uh, every single... T oh, this additional super would have been so good right there. Yep, okay, so he'll slowly take... Le yeah, look at the drop down and damage he takes as his defense builds. That's lovely to see right there. Okay, so this will definitely get rid of Atamo. I alternatively could have had Super Saiyan 4 Goku attack Automageta. I, I think he definitely could have taken Automageta down in one hit, but that's fine. All right, yeah, yeah. So, so this is a pretty good start. You know, Goku family team, of course, is super duper busted strong. So, like, it's not like we're ever really in any danger of losing or anything like that here. But, so far, all these units are doing rather well. Okay, zero, zero super attacks that turn. Okay. Um, huh. So, it, it would be foolish to expect no super attacks on this turn. Um, okay. I would like to finish off... I think what I'll do, we'll have Kid Goku attack Kabe. Uh, I'm going to have Super Saiyan 4 Goku attack Automageta because he'll, he'll, he'll do the most damage there. Uh, and I think I also will have B-Pan. Now, we're going to attack Kabe because I, I, I like think of Kabe as being the second strongest here. Like He could do good damage. So if we get you know any any damage from any super attacks, we've got a Nurse Chi active. I probably could have just used a Whis and we would have been fine now that I think about it. Uh, you know, B-Pan is going to heal us up a lot. We're definitely not... Ooh! I did not expect Goku to finish Kabe off like that. Okay. Uh, well, we could potentially, uh, stun hit. That would be very, very beneficial. Oh! Wow! Alright, we're... <laughs> wow, okay. I, like, I feel like with this... And then we got the stun. With this Goku family team, you could definitely do a no-item run here for sure. Okay. Um, I think we'll do this. Uh, the only thing is that this is not going to ha- Like, Super Saiyan 4 Goku does not have his defense active. Uh, he, he gets his defense on super attack. So, he might take a little bit more damage here than we'd like to see. But let's see how it plays out. Oh! Oh! <laughs> nope! Yep. The LR Super Saiyan 4s do have this in their back pocket. Very, very good. Uh, and now Goku, now he gets to massively raise his defense. Uh, very, very strong mechanic for the LR Super Saiyan 4s. But, you know, you do want to be careful with them in that first slot. Two million! Impressive. Impressive by our boy Super... Uh, well, you know, base form Goku, I guess, right there, right? But impressive by him. Uh, Hit has a lot of health. He's really, really uh, hanging in there tough. Okay. So, we got the active skill with Goku. Um, okay, we're gonna go for hit, because 
if we all aim for hit, I think we could finish him off before we get to the final spot of the rotation uh, where Tech Super Saiyan Guy Goku could be at risk from getting hit by hit. So, if, yep, 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 we'll definitely be able to take him down. See, active skill, like, that's why the Super Saiyan 4 is like, I, I, I certainly would not classify them as underrated. I think there's no, there's no conceivable way they would fall under the umbrella of underrated, right? But I, I, I would say people have kind of, I mean, could overlooked be the right word? I mean, I know, you know, the four-year anniversary is super hype, but like, you know, units have come out on Global that I think are better than the LR Super Saiyan 4s. The LR Super Saiyan 4s, of course, have worse super attack animations than many new units that have come to Global even. So I do understand sort of the hesitation with them, but like, their active skill, just a free super attack on the fourth turn, for like, Super Battle Road in particular, it's just crazy. Like, look at this. We're, like, this is just... We're making a mockery of Super Battle Road right now. Like, I used items and stuff. I, I feel like we could have gotten to this point, and I could have, like, been no items used at this point. Like, this team has been very impressive. Now, Rosé could definitely put up a bit of a fight for us here. That's a thing. Yeah, Rosé could give us some issues. So, I will have to use a Whis item right here for sure. Um, hmm. Uh, I guess it's best to just go for Zamasu right here. Uh, and then whoever can go for Rosé, I'm going to have them go for Rosé. Uh, I'm going to have B-Pan actually attack Zamasu. Uh, the reason for that... Yeah, we used the Whis. The reason I'm going to attack Zamasu is because I want her to do as much damage as possible for the healing. Oh! Ho -ho! Before he gets hit even once. That's worst case scenario right there because... He didn't even get hit. Wow, okay. Oh, well, at least his defense is built up a bit, but he didn't even get hit yet. That 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 played out really, really poorly. Uh, you know, it, it, after Goku had been hit like four times, he would have taken a lot less damage from that. We're still going to survive just because of how strong SCR Goku is. Like, you know, that was, that was pretty good. Only taking 200k, I guess, from a type disadvantage super attack is actually not too bad. Uh, the other thing, too, is Pan is going to probably heal a good amount, but... I probably could use, like, a Nurse Chi-Chi, uh, and then we'll go into the next turn, and we'll get the Super Saiyan Goku transformation. Uh, maybe we could try and see him activate that guard-type ability. Yeah, good amount of healing right there, but not enough. Okay. Uh, we do have Kid Goku's active skill. Oh, you know what? This could be GG. It could. Because, okay, let me tell y'all exactly why Kid Goku is so damn broken. So, we're gonna get the active skill right here, right? vicious damage it's a guaranteed crit kid goku is then going to get the dokkan attack which is a guaranteed crit because of his passive when he falls below 59 percent hp not only do you get the ability to use his active skill but he also gets full guaranteed crits on that turn from all attacks so what we're gonna have happen right here is the dokkan attack is a guaranteed crit you know what else is going to happen? We're also not going to get the Super Saiyan Goku transformation because Kid Goku, I believe, is going to do so much damage here that he's probably going to heal us pretty much, like, completely. Uh, I will go for Zamasu. Let, let's just aim type type advantage here. Uh, let's see how this plays out. Again, uh, I don't expect... You know, I probably didn't need to use that Nurse Shichi item now that I think about it, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. I'm... Since I made it this far, I might as well just get the W rather than trying to look pretty, <laughs> I, I suppose we could say. Uh, so let's see what our boy Kid Goku, how much damage he'll do with this guaranteed crit. Keep in mind that Kid Goku stacks his attack and defense every turn. So here in Super Battle World, we weren't able to see his full power. But, like, he has really, really dominated. Like, oh, Kid Goku has done a very, very high amount of damage. Like, those active skills... His active skill is crazy just because it's a guaranteed crit, right? Uh, and, you know, you can do it, like, as we saw here on turn two. All you have to do for Kid Goku's active skill, I believe, is fall below 59% HP. Very, very easy condition to hit. Uh, this does show how strong Rose and Zamasu are, though. We did get a guaranteed crit right there, and they still have this much health. Uh, Alright, so I don't think we're going to get the transformation here. No, we did not. I figured. I figured as much. Uh, oh! What a Wow, what a lucky break. Look at this. So, <laughs> because of the fact at how these are playing out, uh, I do not need T2 
to use items here. Because God Goku is not going to take that much damage from Rose. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, and then SCR Goku has his passive all the way built up. <clears throat> 100k, that's, that's more than I would have liked. But uh, SCR Goku has his passive built up. So his defense should be pretty good right here. Uh, plus, we're going to make sure that Zamasu is not capable. Oh, nice. If we can get a double crit, we could definitely finish off Zamasu. And then we, we've got completely nothing to worry about. Still probably not going to see uh, Goku's transformation here. So this is interesting, right? Despite the fact that you would think it would be relatively easy to get in Super Battle Road, looks like of the three fights we went into, in only one of them were we even able to get Goku's transformation. This is why I, I, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of a turn restriction and being under a certain amount of HP threshold, right? You can very, very easily manipulate it when you need to be above a certain HP threshold. That's not so bad. But having to be below a certain point, we will have situations like this. Okay, so yeah, this is probably done right here. This is done. We only are going to see uh, our boy's active skill uh, in what, or well, not, we didn't see his active skill at all because Super Battle Royale fights usually don't last five turns. I mean, if we were going up against that Super Vegito in the Majin Buu Saga uh, stage, sure. But here, not, not a chance. Uh, all right, so let's see what our boy Super Saiyajin Goku can do right here. And boop, yep. <laughs> that's that's exactly what I figured would happen. Active skill plus active skill for that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and uh, that's what happens right there. So, not bad. I, I feel like Goku definitely held his own. Uh, you know, <laughs> the transformation sometimes can definitely be a little bit hit or miss. Uh, you know, what can I say? Like... You know, he has that guard-type ability once he transforms, but that, like, wasn't even in play at all here. I mean, I still feel like we beat it pretty easily. Uh, future Gohan is a complete... He's complete dead weight on this team. <laughs> you know, that he's taking 50k per normal attack on that first turn. Yeah, Future Gohan is just a unit that's not built for Super Battle Road. The SCR Goku... He's fine, but I, I, there are definitely units that will perform better here. Uh, but his defense, after he gets hit the four times, does get high enough that, you know, he, he was only taking, what, like 18k from in Zamasu? That's a really good number. Then, of course, if he was able to go into his Super Saiyan form, he'd be defending even better than the 18k against, like, Zamasu and stuff. So, uh, he'll definitely be able to help out a lot of people for sure. Uh, I might take uh, Goku into SCR Super Battle Road as well uh, and use, like, a Super SCR team. I, I, might, I might do that. Uh, but anyway, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.